As part of our Holy Week journey, today we encounter Jesus in ways that we haven't seen up to this point. Time is running out. His message becomes more direct. You understand what I've done, he asks his disciples. Jesus, the holy anointed teacher and Lord, got down on the floor. And he showed what Christian leaders do. He washed his disciples' feet. An act that would echo the greater washing that he would do later in the week, purifying us by paying for our sins on the cross. Up to now, his message was hidden, but on this day, the lesson is clear and it's direct. He is the master teacher. Here he took the eternal truth and he expressed it in a vivid, powerful object lesson. He laid aside all the power and the glory that the Father had given him. He got down on the floor and he washed feet. These weren't feet of little babies. They were men's feet. And if there are any feet like mine, that was quite the task. What makes this hard to understand for us, that one would do this, it's our pride our sense of privilege even. We think that we've done well when we're patient and polite with other people, especially people who seem below us. But Jesus tells us we need to bend lower. We may be the smartest in the room. You may have been called as the leader, been gifted and appointed to be in that position. No matter where you are in life, God has put us in those positions to serve you, to serve others, to serve in the lowest of ways. How many times do I have to tell these people, or clean up after these people, do what someone else should have done? Well, the answer to that question is, at least once more. Because every time it happens, we are called to respond as a servant. Do we understand? As we watch Jesus on the floor with a towel around his waist and a basin, we start to understand our pride. But we treasure Jesus' love and gift. And we understand that that's what Christian leaders are called to do. To get down on the floor, to confess, to marvel at Jesus' love, to kneel, to serve, to be a delight to one another. Let's pray. Jesus, washer of our feet and souls, forgive us for our pride and lack of love. Lead us in your grace to live new lives serving each other.